And this is it. I'm loading the hired car to go on our voyage down to Brisbane. Do or die. Now or never. Um, We've got the just in case bottle of rum. If the shit hits the fan. Kieran's just gone to <coughs> drop off the hired car. We are going to fill the water tanks. Do there's a little bit of maintenance fuel filters that need to be changed out because obviously we were having the issue last week uh, with the engine cutting out. Yeah, it's going to be at least three days and possibly with a night sail um, to get down to to Manly. So it's yeah, it's a bit scary, um, but exciting at the same time. Once we get out in the water, I'm fully sure that the nerves will will disappear because. Doesn't actually, didn't that filter didn't look too bad, but that's the second filter. Mm. So maybe the first one's worse. <laughs> this is where you need a priming bulb, which I'll put in the fuel line next time I do this. Fuel hose? Yeah. Same size, that'll be fine though. Boats. <laughs> what did they say? Bust out another thousand? Yeah. <laughs> so I just get used to things not quite going to plan, I think, and that's it's part of it. Part of it, yeah. Learning curves, too. Like, it was running alright. We may have even found why it was not running properly last time, and we found a split in one of the hoses. But now I've replaced the fuel, hose, fuel, fuel filters, and there was no way to prime the system. However, we installed a priming bulb. We just crashed into the, <laughs> the fuel dock. That was scary. It was just like, it was coming in so slow. And then I was just like, should I put it in reverse? No, it was, it was pretty good. It was just, we came in on too much of a sharp bang. I jumped over onto the dock and then I snubbed the front one and we had a bit too much speed. So I just pulled the nose straight into the dock. It was fine. Like we'd lost most of it, it was just a donk. But I thought they had these soft bits for. So you can crash into them? Yeah. It's such a weird bolt. We have to fill it on the outside and the inside. Just need to add in a, um, a filling point from out there. Yeah, it's super. Oh, how awesome is this? We just turned the um, engine off. Um, and we've got some breeze behind us now. We're just loving it. Just cruising. Just cruising. 5.1 knots. That's exactly what we want. Boss feelings. I feel like it was a piece of piss. <laughs> I know I didn't do much, <laughs> but like she was, having, she was having a sleep downstairs while we're going through all the shallow parts. I feel like it was nowhere near as stressful as it was last week. Well, I think we got rid of the stress last week, and this week it was just like, oh yeah, we we got to 1.2 last week, and we didn't even get to 1.2 this week. Yeah. Grand. You'd get stressed out two times today. One was when we drove into the fuel pump. Oh yeah, we accidentally bumped that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and two was when 
the big gust of wind came through just as we were coming down here and we had our what do you call it again the head sail or the jib or the genoa the head sail yeah yeah um up and it was just too much for it and the whole boat just went i was like we are going to tip over so we've just dropped anchor um at inskip point or just behind inskip point um at the southern end of fraser island we had a little issue we learned a little bit um dropping the anchor we jammed the anchor before it went over i let release too much chain before the anchor went over and it wrapped around itself and seized the windlass and then tripped the breaker so we couldn't drop the anchor and it's pretty shallow it's blowing um pretty hard but leanne did pretty well she came back manned the helm while i went up there and released the clutch and untangled it and then dropped the anchor manually we're about 2.3 meters of water at the moment under under the keel it's only going to drop another meter tonight for low tide so we should have plenty under us so we're going to cross the wide bar tomorrow afternoon so we've got a bit of time to hang out here probably in the last two hours of height of the rising tide of the incoming tide um, then the tide's going with the waves with the wind it doesn't stand any waves up curious uh, uh, first night anchor beer yeah it's been a really good day i've really enjoyed it we had some navigation, we had some sailing, we motored. The motor worked really well after we had our little issues last time. We seemed to have fixed that issue. Um, sailing went really well. We had a good little sail um, at the so end So we're there. preparing for our big trip. Uh, we're doing an overnight sail tonight. So I'm cooking up a storm. Next time we come on a trip, I am going to write a list because we've forgotten a few things. Not too many, but kind of the staple things. Like Leanne's staple consists of Rice and mayonnaise. <laughs> That's all I need, rice and mayonnaise. So yesterday we left Urangan, uh, Great Sandy Straits Marina in Urangan, which is up in Harvey Bay. So we came out around, down, 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 through the real shallow parts. Down, down, all the way down inside of Fraser Island basically, and then we anchored up right there, which is just on the inside of Inskip Point. Alright, and today we're going out through the Wide Bay Bar, and that's why we're waiting for the tide to get out through there. And then we're going to set sail from up there all the way down the coast into Morton Bay. Should be right. Be our first ocean passage, first bar crossing. First nighttime sail. So many things today. But we're all set up, I think we're all pretty good. We've got plenty of fuel. The wind's looking like it's gonna be nice out of the um, north, northeast, maybe northwest at one point, but anyway, we'll see. It'll be good, it's exciting. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, um, purely because it's a first. we're waiting to cross the bar. Once we get out there, I think we'll be fine. One o'clock. So we've got two hours to high tide. Alright, let's go. Let's hoist that anchor up. So how are you feeling about crossing the bar and heading into the open ocean? I don't know, I'm a bit nervous if it's, if it's going to be really swelly and I'm going to get seasick. I don't know. I've never been out of the ocean before on a yacht. Like we did the Whistle Sundays, but not, not ocean. No, so this is the first. <laughs> so hopefully I don't get seasick. But we'll just think. I'm no. okay, I'm excited. Okay. I'm nervous. There's a bit of anticipation because I know we're gonna be out there soon. Or we should just kick back and have a sleep. Oh Capitan, I was all worried about worried about crossing the wide bay bar. Not that we're actually crossing it yet. Through the mad mile. We're coming up to the, how far away from our next turn point, Captain? Four minutes. Four minutes from it from our next turn to starboard. Smash it out over the bar. And the feet are so sore. <laughs>
boss is doing fantastic. We're going through the bar at the moment. Getting a good bit of swell. We're down to five meters under the keel. 6.6. .6. Well, I think we're officially over the Wide Bay Bar. We're at 9.7, 9.8, 9.9, 10 meters under the keel. Well done. How does that feel? Great, so we're out of danger. Yep, wow, well, over the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Panning along, got a bit of lean on. A reasonably close hauled, sort of not quite, probably as close hauled as this boat likes to go. Um, pointing in the right, pointing in the right direction. And, and we're doing 5.6.5 knots. We're gonna have to slow down or we're gonna get there too early. I don't know what the speed is of the wind, but it can't be too much, 10 to 15. We're going into it, so we're creating our own a bit. The boat feels pretty comfortable, to be honest. What is it? A little tuna. He's a little baby tuna. Are we putting him back? Yeah, we'll throw him back, eh? Oh, look, dolphins. Behind us coming up. So we put put our first fish back, officially. Officially. <laughs> um, a little mac tuna, I think, but he was pretty small. And we are now downwind, or kind of, wind is on the aft quarter, and we're still doing between five and six and a half knots, depending on the swell. So we've just gone past the halfway mark. Nine nautical miles to go. And it's 5 p.m. So Um, so, turns out we we're probably asking a little bit much in the boat. We had too much sail up going downwind, and especially in these sea conditions, and that's what was overpowering the um, autopilot. So, now we've, we've dropped the main, we've just got the head sail out, and we're still doing five, four and a, four and a half to five and a half knots. So, only lost like maybe a half knot of speed, maybe, oh, maybe a knot and a half by dropping the main. But now the autopilot's keeping up. What do you reckon? Oh, it was just a really rolly night. A few seaweed swells from the south, we had swells from the north, we had Wind started in the east and then came around to the northwest and then yeah, it was just a long night. Just arriving into Morton Bay now, just on sunrise, which is kind of what we planned. We actually slowed it down so we could arrive. Probably didn't need to arrive slow down that much in the end, but oh. So we've just seen some whales jumping. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Oh. Tired after last night's um, sail. 
try to sleep, but just the um, the rolly seas and the the noise downstairs was just too much. And then as the sun was coming up, I was like, oh, I can sleep now. I felt safe. I think it was just not that I didn't feel safe, but just the night sail, you know. So I'm quite relaxed now. The boat is still rolling, but it feels good. Uh, we're on the homeward stretch, so we're gonna yeah, head to the marina today. We thought about anchoring up at Morton Island, but we're gonna come back. There is a bit of a storm, high wind warning coming through for tomorrow, so we just said, oh, we'll just go back tonight and um, get to our marina, our berth. Uh, I feel like I'm looking forward to a shower. Yeah, me too. I only had one yesterday, but... <laughs> feels like days. feels like we haven't stopped for days. <sighs> Trying to find our spot, H21. Well, there's S. I'd rather go and anchor. I'd rather sail in the open. seven seas. Docking is stressful. It is. I've already hit the dock once. Let's see if we can't do it again. We actually got down to point one of a meter, yeah, a hundred mil. Under the keel, coming in through the bloody entrance to the marina. Okay, that's not that bad there at the back. I don't want to leave the marina again. We've got to get better at that, that's for sure. Just the wind, oh, it's hard. You did an unreal job. We're just pushing to get out of the house and into the boat because at the moment it's costing us a lot of money to have both. Still bad in there like that, all the way to the top. Jeez, it looks like we've had to fix up some of the tank. Uh oh. I just don't have time for this right now. Handed a notice and I can't not move on now. 